The sounds you are hearing were recorded at night.
Um, and so I want them, to me, they are very personal and they kind of encapsulate sort of a moment that relates to myself, but I want them to be relatable to people and, and I want them also to be humorous, but then hopefully they'll touch people in a way that like maybe relates to their own life. And uh, it's true, I, did, I do want them to have that small, intimate scale. For some reason that's important to me when you kind of you kind of know what they are and then you kind of, it reveals itself when you get closer. So again, people ask me how, how they do it, and I like to keep, personally, I will never answer that, because I like to keep that kind of magic trick yeah. illusion alive. Um, if, if you figure it out, and you probably could figure it out, I'd like you to keep the illusion alive and not tell me you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> and, or tell anyone else for that matter, but, you know, do what you do. The universe is there, and the philosopher question with that. Romeo and Juliet, Adam and Eve, you know, this keeps circling back. And there, one total new view, not just in, in uh, Verona, the balcony, everybody go there, and that happened, there was the Juliet. Juliet never was there, you know? The Shakespeare just imagined that view and that feeling, and people look for that. But this is the place, and, and what I say, we want catch in the future, the cutters.